And the man did as Yosef bade, and a man brought the men into Yosef's house. And the men were afraid because they were brought into Yosef's house. And they said, Because of the money that was returned to our stacks the first time uh, we brought in, that we may seek occasion against us and fall upon us and take us for bondmen and our asses. And they came near to the steward of Yosef's house, and they spoke with him at the door of the house and said, Oh, sir, we came down indeed at the first time to buy food. And it came to pass when we came to a lodging place, and we opened our sack, and behold, every man's money was in the mouth of the sack, and our money was in full waste. And we had brought it in it back in our hand, and our other money have we brought down in our hands to buy food. We cannot tell who put our money in our sack. And he said, Peace speak to you, fear not, of your God and the God of your Father has given you treasure in your sacks. And I had your money, and he brought Shimon out to them. And the man brought the men into Yosef's house, and gave them water, and while they washed their feet, and he gave their asses provender, and they made ready for a present for you. And Yosef came at noon, for they had heard that they should eat bread there. And when Yosef came home, they brought him the present which was in their hand into the house, and bowed themselves to him to the earth. And we asked them of their welfare, he and said, Is your father well? The old man of whom you spoke, is he still alive? And they answered, Thy servant, our father, is in good health. He is still alive. And they bowed down with their heads and made obeisance. And he lifted up his eyes and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, Is this your younger brother of whom you spoke to me? And he said, God be gracious to thee, my son. And Yosef made haste, for his affection was kindled towards his brother. And he saw where to weep, and he entered into his chamber and wept there, and washed his face, and went out and restrained himself, and said, Set on bread. And they set on for him by himself, and for them by themselves, and for Mizraim, who did eat with them by themselves, because Mizraim might not eat bread with the Hebrews, for that is an abomination to Mizraim. And they sat before him, the firstborn according to his birthright, and the youngest according to his uh, youth. And when the men marveled one at another, he took a set portions them from before him. But Benjamin's portion was five times as much as any of theirs, and they drank and were merry of him, and he commanded the steward of his house, saying, Fill the men's sacks with food as much as they can carry, and put every man's money in the mouth of his sack, and put my cup in the silver cup in the mouth of the sack of the youngest, and the corn money, and he did according to the word that Yosef had spoken. As the son of the morning was light, and the men were sent away, they and their asses, and when they were gone out to the city, and not yet far off, they also sent to the steward up, follow after the men, and when thou dost overtake to them, say to them, Why have you rewarded evil for good? Is not this that from which my Lord drinks, and whereby indeed he divines, you have done evil in so doing, as he overtook them, and he spoke to them these same words, and they said to him, why does my Lord say these words, far be from thy servants, to do according to this thing? Behold, the money which we found in our sack smells, we brought again to thee out of the line of Canaan. How then should we steal out of the Lord's house silver or gold? But whomever of thy servants that be found, let him die, and we also will be our Lord's bondsman. And he said, Now also let it be according to your words. He with whom it is found shall be my bondman, and you shall be blameless. Then they speedily took down every man his sack to the ground, and opened every man his sack, and he searched and began at the eldest, and ended at the youngest. And the couple was found in Benjamin's sack. Then they rent their clothes, and loaded every man his ass, and returned to the city. And his brethren came to Yosef's house, for he was still there. And they fell before him to the ground, and Yosef said to them, What deed is this that you have done, and do you not know that such a man as I can certainly divine? And Yehuda said, What shall we say to my lord? What shall we speak, or how shall we clear ourselves? God has found out the iniquity of thy servants. Behold, we are my Lord's bondsmen, both we and he also, for whom the cup is found. And he said, Far be it from me that I should do so, for the man is whose hand the cup is.